In this element focus, we are going to look at our icon element. Very popular for most websites. Let's go get an icon and you do that by going over to add elements and you'll find the icon element in the top row. Click and drag and drop it to the place where you want it to be. We have more than 4,000 icons spread across 27 categories. And to view them, click on the icon and then click again here on the icon button. Click here next to the icon and then you will find them up here. You can choose between glyph or the outline versions. Categories are accessed over here. Click on a category. And you can browse through it. Alternatively, you can also search within the category or you can search all categories up here. And select your icon. Within the icon settings, you have presets for the size of the icon. But if you need more control, just click on the three dots and that will allow you to custom set the size of the icon. You can style the background to your heart's content. You can have a fill or outline or no background. If you do go for outline like this, you can also determine the corners from a square to a circle to your custom look. For the size, and border thickness. So much you can do with the icon. When it comes to the color function, many, many options. You can change the icon color, the background of the icon, the border, and you can even add a shadow. Let's give the icon a white color, make it a little bit more visible. But that's not all. You also have the hover state over here, activated by clicking on this tag. And now, when people hover over it, you can apply settings again to the icon, background, border, and also the shadow. The icon can be aligned to the center, and it comes in by default. Then for the right, to the left, and again to the center. Alternatively, you can use shortcut keys. On Office, it's Control, and on Mac, it's Command. Hold it in and use the left, right arrow keys on your keyboard to shuffle through the various alignment options. One of the great features that we've included in our styling options is the right click. This icon here doesn't look anything like the way I want it to look. I want it to draw the same styling options that I've applied to this icon over here. This is easily achieved by taking a cursor to this icon, right click, and then choose Copy. After you've done that, go to this icon, right-click and choose Paste Styles. And now your site looks much, much better. For more features on our Element Focus, remember to subscribe to YouTube, check out our website at brizzy.io and also read our blog and join our Facebook forum.